Hey guys, it's Gianna. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm really excited to do because it is my first ever bullet journal entry, bullet journal spread, um, first time bullet journaling ever. So bullet journaling, I pretty much had a general understanding of what a bullet journal was, but not the infinite possibilities that one could have and do inside of their bullet journal. It has actually been a month since I took a deep dive into what a bullet journal was, pretty much what it included, what people did, and to be honest, I was, and still kind of, very overwhelmed. However, after watching YouTubers such as Amanda Rach Lee or Plant Based Bride, who are pretty much, in my opinion, bullet journal artists, bullet journal experts, and after watching their tips and advice on how to start a bullet journal, I decided I wanted to do one too. The main reason in particular is because I just feel like I have so many things going through my mind and things that I need to keep track of that I don't have a central space to do that. They're literally just thoughts in my head. And with an infant, to be honest, it's really hard to keep track of things in my mind without going crazy. And a bullet journal is really there to help you gather all of your thoughts, all of your to-do lists, all of the things that you're thinking about and put it in a central location, thus being the bullet journal. The thought of starting a bullet journal was very intimidating because if you look on YouTube, all of the bullet journal plan with me's are people who have very artistic skills and I am not artistic at all. I suck at drawing. But like I said, watching their tips and advice, you really don't have to compare your bullet journals to someone else's because it's literally so flexible and customizable to you that it really doesn't have to be so artistic. It can be if you decide to and decide to put effort and time into those skills, but it could be so minimalistic and simple because at the end of it, it's supposed to be functional and make your life easier. Okay, without further ado, let's plan with me and do this first ever bullet journal spread. And morning, I will probably make mistakes because this is trial and error. I know what kind of things I wanna add into my bullet journal, but I don't know how it'll turn out unless I do it. So let's get started. So this is my journal. I uh, bought it off of Amazon. I think it was around $8. So I wanted to start off my journal with a quote, but I'm just like tracing what I thought would kind of look like a Polaroid um, frame, but you know, just testing the waters here. As you can see, I am uh, tracing everything with a pencil first because I, just don't want to use a pen straight off the bat. I know I will make mistakes because this is my first time doing it, but by doing the pencil, I'm ensuring that I'm controlling the amount of mistakes that I make. Now I'm moving on to the official first page of my bullet journal. I decided to do a monthly bills page uh, before I started my like monthly spread. And uh, this is something that I saw everything that I've that I'm putting on my journal has been inspired by Pinterest because as I've said I was super overwhelmed and just didn't know where to start so Pinterest was one of the places that I went to to pretty much get an idea of what layout I wanted. I am just labeling all of the bills that are consistent every month and then putting the months at the bottom. Then I left so much empty space on the right, I literally had no idea what to do. So I just put like a monthly expenses and then just listed all the months. Honestly, I'm gonna be truthful. I don't even think I'm going to use this, but I don't know, it just bothered me that there was just so much empty space. I am now working on the calendar for August. And here again, I'm using a pencil because I really don't know like how much spacing or like how big or small I want the squares to be. Once I figured out the spacing and layout of the calendar, then that's when I went over with a pen.
I decided to add a few habit trackers, the first one being fluid intake. Since I am breastfeeding, I really want to keep up with my supply and I want to make sure that I'm drinking the correct amount of water and enough water throughout the day. Sometimes I just get so busy taking care of the kids that I really forget to drink water. I stopped recording for some reason, but after the fluid intake grid, I went ahead and added a like daily cleaning test um, tracker and I just forgot to record that. Now I'm just adding additional trackers, one for myself and my vitamins and one for Noah um, because sometimes I, I forget and then also I don't want to give him two vitamins in a day. Then I added a feeding log because like I said, I am breastfeeding my son. So I just want to keep track and just like note like what time I'm feeding him and like how long I'm feeding him for. Cause sometimes I also feed him in a bottle. So I want to put that in there as well. Now I have moved on to the weekly spread. With this, everything is going to be the same, the same layout, same style. Then to end the month, I went ahead and added a gratitude log so that way every day I write down like one sentence or one thing that I am grateful of that day. As you can see, the spread is very plain and as it should be, this is my first time ever doing this. But I decided to go back and just draw like little leaves and vines around places in, you know, my journal. And I liked it because it added a little bit of some creativity and somewhat of a theme i guess now here is a final flip through of my first ever bullet journal i'm glad i did this because now i can see the imperfections that i've made then when I do this again, it'll help me decide what I want to do and what I don't want to do for the next time. This experience is kind of like doing a paper. You have to start and create your rough draft before you can turn in your final paper. But I hope you guys enjoyed doing my first ever bullet journal with me and I hope to do this again for the next month. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!